Hello everyone, now you're ready for another adventure. It's me, Wilkie, and I'm here with my brother, Nux. Hello. And it's super late at night, and we're trying to not wake up <laughs> our mom, so... On the waking of Mother's Day. Yeah, so it's, we're going to keep it as calm as possible. It's going to be the calmest thing possible. But what are we doing here today to celebrate Mother's Day ending? That's right, we're summoned for Grimhild and Charlemagne. Yeah, it's true. With, and also, Roland is in here as well. I like Roland. He's rolling. I'm gonna go in here. Three multis. My main goal here is Crimhild. I hope to get as many copies as possible. If there's 50 50s, I hope it's mostly towards her. Uh, feel free to tell us what you are, what you're hoping for here, and how your summons went. Now let's get right into it. Uh, I was telling you about that you need to do tram if you want to see Charmelange's final ascension. Damn. So if you want to see my final form, catch up to the story. Um, you want to see this French man? Yes, and uh, this is also a cause for celebration because they've removed Elegant Man, the 4CE from this, be along elegant. with Be Elegant, uh, Projection, and that other one. All mainstays of these summon videos. Yeah. All of them. What is going to replace them? We don't know. Is it Sakura Special Bento? There's also a 3 star one, but 3 stars I don't care about getting a whole bunch of load of because we already get a whole buttload of them. Child of Atlas. I still have mine max limit broken because remember when the game messed up? Oh, oh. We have gold already. Okay. We're looking sick. for Berserker. That's a saber. Could we roll under Charmelade? It's Charmelade. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. This is what happens when you say you don't like the French. I didn't say I didn't like the French, I said I did like Roland. <laughs> There's a difference. You know what? That's his paladin. This is Paladin. I will say that I I need to form up on the story of Charlemagne, but he's always that's one of the new ones. He's always been described to me as King Arthur but French. And so far I haven't really heard anything dissuading that. That and all the of the twelve paladins are like super crazy powerful OC French characters because they're like all descendants from gods and they have their I, I weapons. I think they're talking about specifically prototype Arthur and not Artoria. Mm. Alright, fair enough. Again, they, they have a bit of the same thing. He calls upon the power of the twelve paladins. He gets the clearance of all round table members. It's true, he does. And again, my thing is not coming from a place of logic. Mine is coming from an illogical view of, of not fully knowing the character. It doesn't help that I also didn't play Extella, which oh, is where I played Extella. Extella. Yeah, you actually played Extella. I never played it's Extella. It's on the Switch. You can play it. It's also on PC. I think you have it on Steam. I have it on the Switch. You have it on both? Yeah, yeah we do. No, I don't have it on both. I could have sworn you had Extella on Steam. We have the original Extella on the PS4. And that one doesn't have... Oh, okay, okay. That, that's, that's the original one. Extella Link is the new one. Got you. I got you what you're saying. Whoa, whoa. Sorry I know that you wanted Krimhild, but... Sorry, this felt like an emergency. Anyway. He does look a lot like the female Gouda. Gu yes. It is uh, female Gouda. I, I guess I, uh, for me, the protagonist of Fake Grand Order is the female one. Fujimara? Yeah. So you're talking about the man? Yeah, I'm talking about the man. I never break up the man unless I have to. They have an entire series based around the man. Yeah, I don't, I don't acknowledge <laughs> I don't acknowledge it. I only acknowledge him as a character in um, Learning with Manga. I'm gonna get so many people hating me for no reason because they're like, you don't attack my goat, Fujibara. The only with the one true king. Alright, I'm gonna go again. Come on, Kremil. That and mainly because you're. You, what? I was gonna say, I'm also doing another one because I, I allowed it myself three and you're only doing one. So I can't have the video be like five minutes long. We could have ended it there. We could have. Another one. But I just got finished doing an hour of Mahjong and I'm feeling extremely unlucky. <laughs> I saw. I was like, "How long has he been playing mahjong? You've been playing for an hour and a half." I was playing because you were playing for thirty minutes for fun. Yeah. And then you got into like a raid, and then you went back. Yeah. Well, the, the worst thing was that I was doing the story, waiting for four people to play mahjong with me at twelve at midnight in California, and then mm -hmm. <laughs> no one, strange enough, Final Fantasy fourteen characters were not jumping at the chance to play mahjong at twelve midnight. 
you gotta realize who you're playing with at this late at night, you're playing uh, with all the people like oh? people like you, who, you, who are working late at night, just got off. It's no, time for more mahjong. Is Roland? Roland. Yeah, I knew it. Another clown. Another clown. Clown. Yeah, he's a clown. I mean, he, he, to be fair, he is. You have to admit, he is dressed very clownish. Maybe it's fompish is the right way of saying it. Uh, that's a bit more better. I was yeah. like... Clown clown clownish makes it sound like he's actually dressing up like a clown. Again, I'm very tired from the Mahjong. The Mahjong took all of my brain power to lose at. Um, <laughs> um, oh, there, there's a, a new one, I think. Luster, um, you got this one last Fompish video. is yeah, the right way of saying it. Because clown makes it sound like he, sound like he looks like the three-star dude. No. Yeah, and he doesn't look like that at all. He doesn't. He does not look like Mephistopheles. He does not look like Mephistopheles. He doesn't look like the sheep Pietro from Animal Crossing. He doesn't yeah. look like that. That's a mischaracterization. Oh, that's a double-sided saber. Another Roland. No, let me see MP2 Charmelong. Charlemong? No, oh, Roland. Yeah, say I sold you. This is what I remember what I said. If, 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 this is, uh, the is, good thing is, is, is going to end up that I get Krimhild and you get both Roland and Charmelong? Probably, I would. We'll see. But this is why it's bad to summon on these three star ones because I want Grimhild and now I'm only going to get Roland because I'm losing the 50 50. This is just like when I was playing Mahjong in Final Fantasy 14. I kept going for. One time I, I was going for Richie and it was the last turn of the game. <laughs> so I went Richie. I was like, I finally, I only need one more tile. They drew the last tile. That, sounds about right. <laughs> that was the last time I was uh, a threat on the board. All right, double rolling. Double rolling. Sure. One last one for you. Last one. Again, I allowed myself three. I'm gonna let myself have three and hope that Grimhild comes on this one. But the smart thing to do is to actually hold it and wait for a banner which Grimhild is featured on. Run birth. Rhythm birth. I think I'm gonna hit the skip on this one then. You should. Oh, we got more gold stars. Gold star, please do berserker. We need berserker in this house. <gasps> we need a berserker. Come on, Krimhill. Yes, that's a full <clears throat> clear of the banner. If only my luck was as good as Bajong. I got zero rake up for those. <laughs> I played an Wait. hour of Bajong and I got zero rake up. <laughs> I may as well have not been playing the game. <laughs> Should have just passed every turn. <laughs> Basically, I thought for an hour I was locked in a game of wits and I was losing like an idiot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> Maybe this is the comeuppance. Maybe losing at Mahjong made this happen. Grimhild said, I dig dudes who can lose the shit at Mahjong. You suck at Mahjong? I'm here. Siegfried Luck was shit at Mahjong. I married him. Siegfried used to play Mahjong. <laughs> Used to play <laughs> if you want to die miser I already finished playing Mahjong. <laughs> you can't kill me any further. That was amazing. Those were amazing your, three bolts. Your spirit's already destroyed. It is. Nothing so. more she could take. <laughs> Nothing more. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna pass it over to my brother. What a wonderful day! <sighs> we're back and now my brother's gonna try for Charlemagne. Is he gonna get him? I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. This is just if, one multi. I'm not expecting much. Yes. It would have been two if the 16 multis had been there. On I would have bought a little more to invest into Charm Lamont. Charm Lamont. Charm Lamont. Damn, this is the new one. Golden Millennium. He might actually. I, I thought, honestly, I thought Golden Millennium Tree was already out of the game. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Rattle of Camelon. Battle of Camelon. That was me after I finished Bajong. <laughs> Standing on a desolate wasteland. Standing on a desolate wasteland, you are the one. You witnessed the, the, the fall of Britain. Exactly. That's how I felt like. Alright. I wonder see. why you. What. Hold on, hang on a second. I was looking from across here. You've been doing this for like hours. I was like, is he really just up playing Mahjong? Yeah, the, okay, so the funny thing is, is that I I was in a queue for an hour long to get into Mahjong, and at one point I was doing the story, 
and a cutscene was playing and the dude was talking and in the middle of the cutscene story while well, he's talking about the refugees and just popped up his intro job came as ready. <laughs> and, I gotta skip after that. and then the worst part is is that I clicked it and then the last dude didn't show up. So I had to wait another 20 minutes. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> It was nothing. <laughs> it, it, it was basically nothing. Yeah, that was a, that's an unfortunate. What a wonderful day. <laughs> what a wonderful day. Guess I'll do the rest of these sickles. I mean, you don't want to wait for the. It's okay. All right, you can do singles then. Just to uh, just to even it out. Just so we, we just don't add on one. Fair. Push <laughs> you. And bad to this, you probably have to. Oh, no, you, uh, you, you're caught up, so you can do troll. So you can get stored stuff in there. Yeah, I can do tram. Did you do any of the Tunguska stuff? The sanctuary? Yeah. No. Because those are same forts again. Oh. Yeah. When the, when they come back as main interludes, you can get them again for same forts. Damn. Same similar to how when um the Dantes event came back, it reset the 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 tickets that you could get from it. Oh. Yeah. It's yeah. worth doing those main interludes, even if you just mostly skip the story. The thing is, Dante's one isn't like a main interlude, is it? It is. You buy it one the same, because that's the only way to... I thought it was just an event. Yeah, I guess it would be considered an event one. It's kind of like the Bunyan one. It's also weird, because that is the only canon way that they ever mentioned that Dante's was actually in the game at some point. So and that he's been there ever since then. <laughs> yeah. It's funny to mention that it's like, yeah, that's the only way you'd ever know he was a love The elixir of What a wonderful day. What a wonderful day it was. Alright. Well my luck came on my side. Um Are we gonna be, are you gonna Do part two, yeah. You're gonna be there for part two? Uh, I'm gonna be there for part two. Okay, I'll have I'll I'll maybe scrounge up something too because I also one of the units on there I also want I just remembered. Sorry again, my brain has been fried from the mahjong experience that I've had, but that was uh, some great luck on my side, and hopefully yours gets a little bit better. You're probably gonna do the last to get to the the bonus summon, right? Eventually. Yeah, I mean whenever those quartz show up, you do the one paid one. Funny enough, this one doesn't go toward the ten. It doesn't. It's funny that it's felt like that. Just the one. <clears throat> Soul Eater. Soul Eater. Damn. Well, we wish you guys the best of luck for it as well. Hopefully, we will be back. I think probably next week. Is that when it's gonna, the banner's going to be up? Like, in a week? I would think two. Two weeks? Did it, was it two weeks originally? No, but no, we're on a weird schedule, remember? Because the dog oh. event is at the... And it is in the end of June, no? Yeah, so that's why I'm thinking, like, so, the timetable's got to be all funky and weird. I think originally in JP it was two weeks, but hmm. maybe a week. We'll keep a, we'll keep an eye out. We'll double check and we'll see. But that's it for today's video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back in the next one. Feel free to tell me about uh, how you did, any sick Mahjong tips you may have. And that's it. All right, boy. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Till next time. Peace out.